Fresh Kid Z, Fresh Kid C, yes, Fresh Kid P, Fresh Kid T. Oh yeah, we back. Oh, and Zafu, by the way. Yeah, Jones. <laughs> All right, so this is day 37, and I turned the bubbles off just for this video. And, well, kinda, mostly, and everything's doing great. As you can see, I moved candy cane coral and the mushroom coral. I glued this guy on the back of the rock so when it grew bigger, it would, wouldn't fall over. And I put the mushroom on this rock because I want that rock to get some mushrooms. <laughs> and I don't know, I might move this guy up there also. I don't know. I'll see how that guy did, does. And this guy is doing good. Same with this guy. They're all doing great. Scarlet Hermit Crab is out and about. And let me see if I can find my other Hermit Crab. I don't even know what type of Hermit Crab it is, but as you the snail is cleaning the airline tubing. And what I was thinking about doing with my tank was making a sump not I don't know I might use this guy as the sump or I might just use like a, a tub or something because I, I got lots of space under here as you can see Nothing real organized. But yeah. So I was thinking about making a PPC overflow. And then I would be able to have like all that stuff gone. And just two pipes right there. And then a return pipe. And I might actually have to do it on the other side. So this so it has like the same flow, so that guy doesn't get as much flow still. And then I'd be able to move these rocks back a little bit actually, since I'd move the heater down there, and it wouldn't be as, yeah, as whatever. Um, oh, and since this heater, I think it only goes up to like 20 gallons or something, I might just use like a five gallon. some water pretty soon so yeah I would I'll let you guys know how to make a sump out of a five gallon oh sorry I can't see this a five gallon bucket hopefully I don't know or just a tub I don't know how to make it out of a tub but if it was out of a five gallon bucket it would be a lot easier so yeah, this is day 37, and I think my, my Scarlet Cleaner Shrimp might molt pretty soon. Because it's been scratching at its exoskeleton all week. I don't know what that means, because... I don't know, but... Yeah, it might be. And I might get some Narcissus snails or whatever stuff that aerates the sand. To make sure there's no toxins and shit down there. So, yeah. Still got tons of copepods. They're kind of annoying me. I don't really know what to do with them, but I have no idea. Hopefully, something eats them. But, yeah, all my sh uh, shrimp are doing good. My corals are doing great. Hopefully, I might get some fish pretty soon. I don't know. <laughs> that dude's crawling in there. I'm gonna try to figure out how to do a sump out of a five gallon bucket. And I'll try to get that done this week or 
this weekend. I don't know. And yeah. So once I get the sun done, I'll probably get some fish again. So yeah. And then I change that dude to just aim straight across. So this guy doesn't get as much flow or I don't know. It doesn't really matter. These guys are medium flow, medium flow. So it's not that big of a deal. And it's still getting a nice color grilling on it. And hopefully I, I super glued that guy down. So hopefully he stays. And same with that guy. He, he's can uh, the candy cane coral was in growing like in a shell. I don't know, that's how the my fish store did it. And there's like a little notch on the side of this rock that was like half of a circle or half of a sphere. So I just like stuck the snail shell in it and glued it and it was like perfect. And hopefully it grows taller and kind of takes up this little space because that's a really good looking candy cane coral. And yeah, so this is my tank. I might get a brain coral, put it down here, or here, so somewhere. I don't know. I'll figure it out. So I'll let you guys know about the sump in the future.